beautiful man beautiful we got a little cast cray bait that's like sweet tea color and one 30 second ounce jig do a little pan fishing today we'll just see what we can get got some night crawl red worms and night crawlers too oh, beautiful morning overcast but cold a lot colder we weren't biting yesterday we'll just gonna sit there throw some worms out i couldn't get a bite on the lure yesterday they may not be here anymore so it gets warmer again there's a bite right there i missed him though and I'm sure it heck built one. Built one. <laughs> oh. There's one. There's one, guys. Nice one. What is it? Bluegill? Yeah, that's what we wanted. Oh, little rock bass. Oh, we didn't want to drop him. Didn't want to drop him. Pretty little white bass. There he goes. Under them rocks. Probably get hung up a bunch of times. A bunch of rocks. It was a hit. There's a, there's a fish. Got another one. What we got, guys? Little bass. Little bass this time. <laughs> they all keep popping off. I'll have to bend this hook a little bit. <laughs> Gotta bend this hook in a little bit. Sharp. I think. No, it ain't real sharp. It's sharp in that. Hook stalled up a little bit. Probably from a rock or two. A little sharp in it anyway. Check it on my nail. Should dig in. There it's digging in. It wasn't digging in. Yeah. If it ain't digging in, it ain't going to dig into a fish's lips either. Well, that's what you have. So we're out. Try again. I was hoping for a bigger rock bass. <laughs> Just reeling in slow. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, that's a bigger fish, guys. A little bit bigger. Is that a bigger rock bass? Oh, yeah. That's a bigger rock bass, guys. Heck, yeah. That's a bigger rock bass. Love these guys when they're biting. That's a pretty hefty one there. Got those probably about ready for spawning. Get that black on the bottom. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, collars on that baby. All right, we'll get a measurement. Just a beautiful guy there. Get a release on him over here. See him in the shallow water. There he goes. I like that. I'm glad I'm fishing for panfish. Because that's exactly the kind of day I wanted. Catch a nice rock bass. Two in one day. That's the first for a while. And I'll tell you, this is a Cascray Minner. Cascray.com. Go check them out. Discount code in my description. Go check them out, guys. They make all kinds of colors, like 63 in each color bait. So definitely go check them out. Thought I'd try a brown collar because I have a lot of luck with brown around rocks. I don't know what it is. 
crawdad collar or, or what. We're bound to catch anything with this bait. I thought I was going to have to use worms. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, that's a pretty decent one. They're in that current. They fight hard. Oh, man. Oh, that guy's a jumper. Oh, that might be a small one, guys. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We might have a smallie on here. Man, they fight hard. Oh, baby. When you're after panfish, you catch one of these. It's a fun time. Hopefully this guy don't fall off. Yeah, there we go. Got a good picture of him. Nice little smallie. They weren't even biting yesterday, but biting today. Get that hook out of him. Oh, nice and cold smallie. Beautiful. Beautiful smallie, guys. Not very big, but if that was a rock bass, it would have been a take. <laughs> Let's let him go. There he goes. He was in a hurry. Yeah, I'm not after not after those today but i'll take them any time for the just the fight alone it was worth the fight water's a little muddier they'd probably be there more it's pretty clear there's a bite there's a bite got another one that's a fight pretty good might be another rock bass Oh, another little rock bass. Heck yeah. Don't know if that's the first one or not. Kind of looks like the first one I got. A little smaller actually, but still, still a rock bass. That's three rock bass, man. Love it. Love it, man. Love it. will keep biting every time you throw it so you can catch the same one hundred times. There's a bite. That's a pretty small fish too. Oh, a little, little long air sunfish. Look at the colors on that baby. Man, crazy. About done with the spot with this bait. We might throw a red worm or yeah, red worm or night crawler on, see what we get. Oh, there's a bite there. That's a bite. There we go. We pulled another one out. That's a pretty good one. Heck yeah. That's another good one there. Not very big, but look at the yellows on that guy. Definitely haven't caught that one yet. Look how yellow that guy is. Got a lot of yellow in him. Got a little bit of black on the bottom of him. Yep, that was a fresh hook. Yep, that's a complete different rock bass. Still got the little patterns up here. Full of color, man. They really get a lot of full of color. Their patterns change by the water, water color and everything. They blend in really well around rocks. All right. See you later, buddy. I'll hook it three times. So you got both ends they can bite on. Rock bass itself. It's got a big mouth, so it don't take don't take very much for them to swallow it. Now, we just gotta keep an eye on our line. And a rod tip. <laughs> so you just leave it one spot, move it a little bit. Current's gonna do its thing anyway, so. You'd think you'd get more bites. 
to get a worm. That might be a bite right there. There we go. I think we got one. Hey, what we got? What do we got here? There we go. Now that's a nice little bluegill there. Well, that might be another long ear. We're going to measure it. What do you think? Yeah, it looks like a pretty long ear. I'd say long ear sunfish. Get a little close up. Beautiful though. There it goes. Thread this on here a little bit. Let's try that. It's kind of like a net rig. I wish bank extended so we'll have to go out in the water a little bit and it's cold <laughs> I don't want to get out here too far ankle deep or so <laughs> god that's cold guys let's get it right off the side of the structure here and see if there's anything hanging around the jig head may not be quite heavy enough for it but there's a bite let's see what we got See what we got, guys. A little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. Kind of like purple in him. That's just a regular bluegill there. Probably should measure him. I'm not going to. I think we can get one bigger. Maybe not here. Maybe not today, but maybe this week. See if we can catch another one. There'd be something good over there. There's a bite. There was a bite, guys. Oh, I got him. You know, I felt something. Oh, spit it out at the bank. Of course, it was a bass. It looks like a dead rig. <laughs> it's a big bass act. <laughs> Over there. That's blocking that current. That's the structure there. I keep my bait over there's another bite. There's another bite. What oh, we got here? Got that guy. Another rock bass. These guys are on fire, ain't they? Darn it, you ate my worm, didn't you? On fire. <laughs> I gotta go back and get a worm. Ooh, that water's cold. Now, working it slow seems to be the best possible way of doing it today. Oh, let's try to keep it slow. There's a bite. I'll get him. Got him, I think. Heck yeah. Man, if you see that rock bass there, see the colors on this guy? He's fading in with his surroundings. He's almost really pale. He's been right next to some pale rocks. Beautiful though. With that note, I thank you guys for coming along. It's been a fun time fishing the dam for panfish. I'll see you next time. Bank Fishing Adventures. See ya. Yeah. Love this damn.